In this video, we're going to take a look at a feature of Word called text wrapping breaks. Microsoft used to call these line breaks. Now they call them text wrapping breaks, but I still call them line breaks. So that's what I'm going to refer to them as in this video. A line break is where you want to end a line, but you don't want to end the paragraph. So before we do this, make sure you go to your home tab and on the home tab, make sure that your show hide button is pushed in so we can see hidden characters. And let's go down to our third paragraph here. Let's assume that we reach a point in the paragraph where we want to end the line, but we don't want to end the paragraph. So I want to go to a new line here, but I want to stay in the same paragraph. So position the cursor before the word that you want to push down to a new line. Then go to your Layout tab, and on Layout under Breaks, click on Text Wrapping. Word will insert a text wrapping break or a line break right at the point where the cursor was, and it looks like this little square arrow. If we didn't have, let's go back to the Home tab here, if we didn't have the Show Hide button turned on, we wouldn't be able to see what was there, and we wouldn't really know why we went down to a new line. So we're going to leave that pushed in. So that takes me down to a new line, but you notice the end of a paragraph here, I've currently got, it looks like about six points between paragraphs, but I don't get the six point break here. So it's not the end of the paragraph. As a matter of fact, if I go over here and, and uh, double click, double click will select the entire paragraph and the entire paragraph starts here and it ends down here. So that's still one paragraph, even though I've got a little break in here that uh, breaks up the paragraph. This line break character right here can be treated just like any other character. So if I click to the left of it and hit the delete key, the line break goes away and we're right back where we were before. There's also a keyboard shortcut for inserting a line break and that is shift enter, which I'm going to do right now. And it inserts the line break right after the semicolon and the space here. So that's another way to do it. That's the way I prefer to do it because it's a lot faster and it's also pretty easy to remember. We'll also go up here and we'll get rid of the line break characters. Now we're back to where we were before. So what's that useful for? Um, there's one example I can think of that uh, this comes in really handy for. This is about the only example, uh, the only time that I ever used this. Let's uh, do a control N here and open up a brand new document. Now let's say that we're doing some bullets. I'm going to do an asterisk and a space. I'm going to type in a little bit of junk and hit enter and a little bit more junk. And I'm just going to do that for a few times and, and get several bulleted items there. And occasionally when you're doing a bulleted list, you may want to have this take up two lines, but you don't want to go all the way across the page, but you don't want to start a new bullet either. So I'm going to do a shift enter there. What that does is it ends the line, but it does not end the paragraph. Every bullet item is a new paragraph, as you can tell by looking at the paragraph mark at the end of each bulleted item. So if you have a bulleted list and you want to go to a new line, but you don't want to start a new bullet item, this is the way to do it. Put a line break at the end by doing a shift enter, or you can also go back to our layout tab up there and go to breaks and insert it the same way. So that's how line breaks work in Word 2019.